All right, y'all, welcome back. Welcome back. It's Albert LaBelle. Uh, the lock we're going to take a look at this time is right here. It's a little abloy. I just had to have it. It was another one of those eBay finds. I'm always hunting eBay for, for cool things, and, and, I mean, this just screams cool. It's an abloy 3015. It actually says 3015-3018. Very hard to see that on the lock. I don't know if it's going to pick that up right here along the bottom underneath the abloy but yeah just a little dude um now i i, I gotta i gotta ask something and please let me know in the comments what you think about this because i think it goes it goes both ways what is a high security lock because in my opinion and i think everyone's opinion an abloy is a high security lock right by all means it's a high security lock but uh, in a in a Basically, in a, in, a, in a casing, if you will, this size, that's not high security. It wouldn't take much to cut through the shackle. So, what is a high security lock? I mean, we know something like this is a high security lock. This is an Abloy 341 with the uh, Abloy Sentry core in it. Absolutely high security. And again, Abloy core, different core than the Sentry, but in a lock this size... So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. What is a high security lock? Um, you know, and how do we determine that? Is it a lock that has to be destroyed to remove it? You know, as opposed to just uh, uh, raking it or shimmying it or shimming it or, you know, something like that? I don't know. Please let me know in the comments. Let us know. Let us all know what you think. What's your thoughts on that? Uh, so, yeah, little abloy. Uh, we are going to pick into this. I'll be using the silver bullet with the abloy tips that uh, Matt Smith made for me. If you haven't seen those yet, they fit the silver bullet with no modifications to it whatsoever. So, awesomeness. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the camera around a little bit so we can get a good shot of it. Uh, oh, let me show the keys. Here are the keys that came with it. Uh, pretty nice, nasty cuts on that too. Very nice, right? Not too shabby. Uh, and it is a it's ball locking. You can see the little ball in there. Uh, ball locking, and it cannot be disassembled. Uh, that is a permanent permanent cap on there. Uh, I did count the discs. It has eight discs and then a spinner on the front. This front disc just spins all the way around. Uh, so technically it's an eight disc lock plus spinner. So I guess you can call it an eight plus one maybe. But yeah. Pretty cool. Just had to have it. If I can get that key back in there. Yeah. So, yeah, what is a high security lock? I, I you know, because like I said, I consider Abloy's high security. Uh, but look, there's a, there's a quarter. 25 cent piece. There's the size of that shackle. Pretty much the same radius right there. Same height as a quarter. The body's not that much bigger than the quarter. So, that's a, that'll gauge you the size right there. But, yeah, any hoodles. Let's rotate the discs all clockwise. As far as they will go. I will slap it in here like so. And we'll try to get a nice good shot. Let me rotate this around. Bear with me one second here. Just going to move it like so. Crank it down nice and tight. And we'll go like this. That ought to do, right? Nice. All right, let's get the silver bullet all the way in the back of the lock and grab that last disc. And see if we can't pop this bad boy. And I can tell you, it is used. It's got that, I, I, I did uh, try picking it earlier. It's got that kind of gummy feel to it. All right, so we're on that last disc with the tensioner. And the tip is far back as it'll go. Now let's start a picking. Look for that next disc. That's tight. There we go. Pop loose. Next disc. That one feels loose. I'm not going to mess with it. That one's tight. There we go. Next one. 
Not sure about that one. I'll skip it for now. I'll skip that one. That one's tight. There we go. Next one. Not sure about that one. I'm going to skip it. That one's tight. There we go. And there's the spinner. Okay, so now we'll go back through. Because I know I got them at least in a gate. Okay, that one doesn't feel great. That's better. Slipped off, but there we go. Next one, that one feels okay. That one doesn't feel great. Okay, I think that might be a zero. Next one back. Okay, that's tight. There we go. Next one back. All right. I think that was the last one back. Okay. So we're missing something here. That one feels grindy. Oof. That feels rough in the back there. Gotta tell you. Okay, that feels better. Right there. That feels good. That one's tight no matter where I put it. I gotta assume that's a zero, so I'm gonna leave it there. That one's tight. Oof. That one feels better. There it is. False gates for sure. Absolutely. Now let me bring the camera back. Yep. Felt like there was some false gates in that puppy. Alrighty. Bring the camera back a little bit right here. Woo! Yeah. Nice. So what I do is I just uh, carefully get my picking tip out because that one's a little more delicate. And then I can just... Well, I didn't show you the lock was open. So it's definitely open. Now I'll we'll close it back up, lock it, and just kind of shimmy that tension tip out of there. Shimmy that tension tip out of there. <laughs> there we go. Usually it works better than that. I'm always careful with the picking tip because it's not so strong. I mean, it's lasting a very well, but... This one here is a lot more stout. I can usually just wiggle that out. But yeah, any hoodles, there it is. The Abloy 3015. I just think it's the coolest little lock, right? Had to have it. Let me get it back open again. There we go. So yeah, isn't that cool? Abloy 3015. So that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll tell you what, if you want to see more cool stuff like this, you need to subscribe, all right? Fresh videos at least once a week on every Sunday, okay? Subscribe. All the cool people are doing it, okay? Thank you.